So hello everybody, I'm Dan Spencer, I wanted to make a, another podcast about Lake Lai, because although I've published much in my ebooks and on some blogs and websites, <clears throat> a lot of people still have questions, so about different kinds of Lake Lai, some basics, Lake Lai Plung. Leg lie plan is a kind of leg lie that is considered to have uh, very powerful uh, energies and it is uh, blood red in color, a rusty blood red, uh, quite clear, so it has a, a level of transparency to it. Uh, um, sometimes there'll be a tone of um, what we say in Thai, it mon means uh, mon is a kind of hill tribe, the kind of clay bricks they use, which are kind of orangey red clay. So um, you see that tone, that color in it, and uh, uh, it's not preferred to have it inserted into your, some leg lie, people have it inserted under their skin in their bodies. This kind of leg lie is not recommendable to do that with because uh, it has a very, very hot, fiery elemental. Plum actually means flame. So it means flame leg lie, fire, fire element leg lie. So you shouldn't actually um, insert that, which is one Thai Buddha magic ritual and magical uh, spell, like the golden needle, to insert it inside and it moves around inside your body. Yeah. So uh, it's believed that this kind of like lie uh, will. Uh, absorb heat uh, from the, it absorbed its heat, or it, uh, it received its heat, it received its heat power through absorption uh, from the center of the earth, so from the lava in the center of the earth, and uh, it's protective against uh, um, poisonous animals, yeah, also poisonous beasts, and uh, I would say also viruses and poison, blood poisoning, and that kind of thing, salmonella, and that kind of thing. Um, some of its abilities uh, <clears throat> is that it's very well known for its ability to create illusions. Yeah, to protect yourself, yeah, a bit like Loki can do, yeah, in the Marvel movies, <laughs> and uh, so disappearing or making yourself appear somewhere else as a, as a false image, and so you can run away while they're talking to a hologram of you, kind of thing, or oh, invisibility, all sorts of things, yeah, up in your powers. And uh, so it's uh, able to assist the wearer in escaping dangers like this because it can make you invisible or so this is the belief that it can make you invisible or uh, create illusions in order to trick your enemies or animals hunting you in the jungle in the old days would be an issue that would be often encountered, yeah market traders traveling from one town to the next would have to pass through the forests and the jungle. It was hard in those days, there were no roads, yeah, not hardly any. And uh, it's also believed to be able to perform teleportation or disappear, make, make the wearer disappear. Uh, and protect from evil spirits and demons and ghosts, and uh, 
just basic protective powers against um, physical accidents and dangers, yeah, and enemies, yeah. Uh, in the if you live in a place where you have very cold season, cold weather, uh, will send rays of warmth to uh, help your body to have a to not be too cold so to feel warm and comfortable to feel comfortable enough yeah uh, <clears throat> and of course protect you in the forest yeah. and uh, they say in Thai uh, Gindin Boon means eats uh, eats gun earth that means gunpowder Kindin Boon means a gun don't shoot, so it's a Maha or gun stopper and Klau Klaat, so evasion. Uh, if you walk under a ladder and a brick falls from above, it will land behind you after you've walked, or it'll happen before or after, but not when you're right under it. It will pass you by, it will miss you. Yeah, so even if a bullet is shot or something, it will, instead of hitting you, it will fly past you. And uh, Maha or Kongapan, yeah, protection against projectiles and sharp instruments and uh, uh, poisonous animals and uh, spirits and demons. And uh, it is said that like lie plume, uh, flame like lie which is extremely rare to acquire. And I believe after this podcast, some people are going to email me. So here's the answer first. No, I don't have any in the moment, but I'm always looking for it. So you can email me if you want at Thailand Amulets at Proton.me. Thailand Amulets at Proton.me. Yeah. Uh... Or try to message me in Facebook slash Ajahn Spencer. Uh, but I'm slow to answer. Uh, better to email. Um, then I can put you on my list in case I find somebody. It is very, very rare. Like Lai these days is almost absolutely impossible to find. I'm on my last three pieces now. After having a large batch and over the last years they've all gone and over those years I've sought more out not possible it's possible when it's possible but you never know when that's going to be and when the miracle's going to happen because the real leg lie is the only leg lie I accept buy or sell which means I've had to go a few years without being able to buy any more because the leg lie I've seen, I don't consider leg lie. So leg lie plus flame leg lie. I'd say it's as I gave the Thai explanation of its color. It's I'd say it's very much like um, a brownie red, semi-transparent stone. Yeah, it looks like a Buddhist blood blood relic a little bit actually but it isn't, it's like glyplone yeah, from the cave and so um, it is fire element yeah and uh, that's just one of many kinds of like light so the next time I will be doing uh, a slight synopsis and explanation of like light and you want means uh, leg lai, uh, Chinese silver, and Yuang, Yuang is a kind of tribe, a kind of ethnicity, Chinese ethnicity, so Yuang, uh, or maybe like Vietnam, Chinese kind of, and I'll explain that in the next podcast for the next kind of leg lai, so this will be uh, kinds of leg lai, part one. Yeah, and that was like live plan. And Jesse can email me if you want, and I'll put you on the list.
but I don't know how long it's going to take until I find some because I've been looking for quite some time. So, a Jan Spencer for the Buddha Magic Project, ThailandAmulet.net, AncientAmulet.com. Please support my websites. You can read my crazy blog on AjanSpencer.com, but don't think it's amulets or Buddha Magic. Some of it is, but it's everything because that's where I allow myself to talk about anything I want. But uh, please support my website so at least and share them if you like this podcast and uh, subscribe if you want to be notified for the next episode, which will be Leg Lying and Yuan, which is a silvery leg lie. Yeah. After that, I'll be doing other forms, such as Leg Lie Nam, Leg Lie Piak, and Court uh, <clears throat> Leg Lie Ngok, and some other kinds, yeah. And then I'll go on to other kinds of sacred substances. So I'm probably going to put this in two playlists, a Leg Lie playlist, and another playlist for Muan San, Sacred Ingredients on my youtube.com slash Ajahn Spencer and I'll also upload it to facebook.com slash Ajahn Spencer as well so Ajahn Spencer for all of those channels and websites and places and myself and for you hopefully this was a little bit informative about the first kind of blink lie I think it's good to learn separately so you can remember Lake Lai Plone, Fire Element Lake Lai. Very rare. Don't have any. Looking for some. If you want some, let me know. I'll put you on the list. So I just been signing off.